Okay, so basically this is um, a tutorial on Visual Basic, which is a programming language, which I'm going to be using the program uh, Visual Studio 2010. Uh, so once you open the program, uh, it will appear like this. Now I'm just going to be, yeah, I'm going to be doing Visual Basic, so just go File, New, Project, and here you can see that there's a browse so you can browse where it saves so I'll just click that I'm going to be saving on my USB um, first file is intro I kind of uh, made that tutorial really long and talked so slow so I'm just going to try and speed this up a bit uh, so intro We can save. Uh, in that, oh, wait, that's not a folder. I have to make. Uh, actually, no. I save here. Then, sorry, I'm so sorry for doing that. So here's the name of the folder. Remember that when you make a program or look at anything, like if you've ever looked at the um, programs inside of your C drive programs, you know. Um, they come with multiple files, so you're going to want to save everything as like something you'd want it to all be grouped as. So this is intro to the Visual Basic, which I have a file for. I might be doing other programming languages, which I'll use the same drive, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, I can't do that. Sorry. Intro to, because I made an intro and that... I messed up when, so I'm just going to call it intro 2 because I already have an intro. Now this shows my recent projects as you can see. So I might be doing some of those in this. But now it's building the application. Now yours might look a little different. Like you might have this up on the top and then something down here. Well, what you can do is just click the drag a button and move anything to anywhere on the screen. I'm just going to move that back. So properties are what I, I'm going to need. Your properties might not look like this, but as soon as I click here, they might look the same, or you can click here and if they look the same as mine, they should look like this. If you don't see properties, just remember you can go to the view, uh, properties, and then like select where you want it. You can really customize the look of this. Now, you might have your toolbox looking like this, so it would have to pop out. To make your things like not kind of push into the left or something, click this little button between the X and the triangle going down, and that will make sure that it always stays up so that it doesn't have to pop out. I kind of find that a little bit annoying. So I just have my setup like that. And I think that should cover basically everything else. So, like that I've changed. Um, so let's go to Form 1. Now you see this, uh, it's called, you know, Form 1 right up there. So I click the whole window. Name is what the computer would refer to it. So if I ever want to refer to it in code, that's what the name is. Uh, four color, which is going to be whenever I add an item to this, the four color will be that, I'm pretty sure. It's not actually, it's four color because they're all little light black color. You can also change the font of anything that's added automatically, like the default one. Uh, icon, which would use ICO files of 16 by 16. And that would be a little thing that goes there, as you can see. This looks like the little icon in the bottom left. So you can change that in your programs. Uh, and there's text, which is what it's displayed. So let's call this intro, I-N-T-R-O, intro. So that's intro. Just make it really simple. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. Now you have uh, solutions. This will show uh, information. So if you have multiple forms, but we're not going to be getting into that later, you can select them, uh, other projects, etc., 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 um, yeah.
So this is Team Explorer, which uh, is like combining two files from different programming languages. I'm pretty sure I haven't done that in a while, though. Yeah, so when I click properties again, it appears blank. And that's because I don't have an item selected from my menu here to change the properties of. Once I select this, the properties will change to that. Just remember something to note if you have that problem. So let's add a button and a label. So a label, if you don't have it like this, if you have it like under uh, all, you're, you can just like close the all windows forms columns controls so it's under common controls label so it appears with this label so a nice way to name things is call it like label and then have uh, something referring to it after the word label so label uh, hello so hello world or you can have like something like your labels LBLs or like labs or bell I don't know you can just name them just some way to identify all your labels because eventually you'll have like a whole bunch of them and you want to know which one you want to change so then remember the name is referring to it so that will make the text blank so blank so now it kind of looks like it disappeared, but once you drag your mouse, so click and drag, it comes back. Usually I just like leave a letter in there, because like sometimes it's like really close to other stuff, but yeah. So button, you see how it kind of lined up? So that means that my label is like right here. So button one, which I'm just going to leave as button So with this hello world thing, it is usually a common exercise for beginners. Uh, you're basically changing the properties of hello world. So let's go. I'm going to be just adding this. So this is a button that I just added. Remember that it's under the common controls. Uh, so I'm just going to say like text. text change which makes the text change from the original nothing to something but that's once I add code to it and let's go to color which we'll want to select after so color Remember, text is what's actually shown to people, and name is what's called. So, oh man, control Z that. Let's get called button. Okay, so button color. This is form one. We're just going to leave form one as form one for the name. So, text change, which makes. So then we'll go. ME, which will give you a list of all your repositories that pop up. So L A label hello world, which just popped up. I can hit space or enter. I'm going to be hitting space because then I just have to go backspace. Dot text, which it was automatically selected. Equals. Now remember, if you don't do the ME, you're going to have to type in the first letter for the menu to pop up, and you can't just automatically hit space too get what you want. So now we're going to have to be using these quotations so that it knows it's not a numeric value, it's actually like text. So so hello world is what's going to be displayed when this button is clicked. Remember to get that menu I just double clicked on the text change. I can do that for this Another way to get other properties, and the same thing is in the events. So I'm going to be using the events this for this. So it's just click. So I double click the click thing, and I get basically the same result. But remember, when you're clicking on something, it will always be click. Whereas if I need other things, I can go into the event handler. 
and to do like when drag enter drag you know mouse over hover and stuff like that whenever the mouse hovers maybe you want it to like flash red and blue or something but we're just going over the basics so yeah dot l the l hello world dot text I mean not text sorry dot for color which will be the well, color displayed which is like the text color equals uh, color dot so lime I think lime and lime green are like very similar but we'll just do that so it will make it like a lime green looking thing I kinda like lime green so that's why I'm using that so now if I want to run my application I can do this uh, this little button here right now beside it it would be debug so it will find all bugs uh, release which will give me files and I'm not too sure about that because I don't really release a lot um, yeah just make little programs for fun uh, debug you can also go in that menu or you can just press the F5 command now this will make our application just start goes through all the code and here we are so we get this little menu so we got text change which would change this to hello world up there um, then we got color change which changes it into a green hello world so now you know the basics and then there are all these other buttons that you can use um, that's it for this tutorial because I think it's actually getting quite long yeah it's 12 minutes so remember to subscribe um, remember I don't do just tutorials on computer programming I do com uh, tutorials on basics of com uh, like computer programs so like I have maybe uh, some on blender which is uh, more of a designer program which is just a basic uh, you'd be using the same principles for other programs for designing so yeah just blenders free so that's why I decided to use blender and uh, that's it so remember there's gonna be like a subscribe button right on the right here and in all my videos I have a little subscribe button and it's like with a little logo thing in the bottom right hand corner